hello my internet friends and welcome back to my channel thought I'd do another video I'm on a roll for a change I've not got a lot to say really although I have got a story time should I start with my story time I've got a excuse my French what the fuck just happened story time and a lot of you probably won't know but when life was normal when I went out regularly like to the shops, to the supermarket, blah blah blah. You know, just normal, normal life. I would have a lot of what the fuck just happened moments. And I should have made it into a series and told all my stories. But my mum also has these moments. Like we attract we attract situations for ourselves. And I've not had one of these moments for I would say it's been I don't know, maybe nearly a year since I've had one of these moments. And yesterday, it started again. So, I should have been in work. I was on a half a day. So I had half a day holiday yesterday, so I finished work early. And it's my dad's birthday yesterday. So I dropped his present round, and then I come, ra come round? I come back to my house. I need to put you down, my arm's aching. This is not comfortable at all. Sorry you can see my washing in the background, but you know, real life. So I got home, I think it was around half three. Now, if I was doing a full day at work, I would have been at work and I would have totally missed this awkward situation. Anyway, it's about half three and I was making myself a cup of tea and the fridge is that big black box there. And I walked over to the fridge to get the milk out and I can see out the front window which is there and I seen this lady, well dressed lady, she looked like she was taking a picture of either my house or next door's house from the bottom of the drive and I thought, oh, it's weird, thinking she's probably not taking a picture of my house because why would she be? So I walked to put my milk in my cupper and then as I was walking back to the fridge this well-dressed lady and another lady was walking up the drive so i was like huh and she's like smiling at me through the window and i thought oh she's seen me i'm gonna have to answer the door i don't want anything that you're selling blah blah, blah. you know you have that in your head like really so i open the front door and she goes oh let us in let us in it's freezing and i was like sorry what and she was like we're here to speak to you about Mac. Now, I'm not sure whether I've told you before, I think I have, but Matt's parents fostered a little boy called Mac. So I was like, hey, they don't have him anymore, he's with a different foster family. So I was just like, they looked like social services as well. So I was like, um, okay. And then it felt like literally a lifetime, but it was probably only like five seconds. And the other lady went, oh, we're at number nine. Oh, and then the woman who was stood in front of me was like, oh, I'm so sorry, we've got the wrong house. Um, I've been taking pictures of your house and everything. And I was just like, okay. And they were like laughing their heads off and I was laughing and I was just like, I was like, I know someone called Max, so that's why I was so confused as why you were here to speak to me about them. And she was like, we're so sorry. And then she went down there. So I was just like, why? Why today did they have that appointment with these people? Why the day that I do half a day? It's like, I rarely do half a day at work. Why, why today? So that was my, um, what the fuck just happened moment of Friday the 12th of February and I don't like them like my mum attracts these kind of things and it's like everywhere I go or everywhere I used to go before I was afraid of the world like everybody was taught to me like I attract people that talk to me like I mean I must just have a friendly face because everybody speaks to me everybody and I I'm polite and I'm like, ha, yeah, like, great, yeah, I've done that. And I 
I'm over friendly and then it encourages them to speak to me and then I'm stuck there. It's like when I used to work at my last job, I'd nip to Tesco on the way home. And this is going to sound really bad, but the majority of the people that were on the tills were like 60 plus. And I just have one of them faces that is like, speak to me, I want to have a conversation after I've been in work from 6am. Just want to buy me groceries. So yeah, I end up being stuck there talking to them about absolutely nothing. But I've just got a friendly face. And one time in the same Tesco's, this old lady stopped me and started asking my preferences of sauces. So we were stood there looking at the mayonnaise, the tomato ketchup, all the sauces, and I was giving her my like preferences and ooh, this one's nice. Have you ever tried this one? If you like a little bit of spice, we can't really handle spice. And I'm there being like this sauce expert, telling this woman about my sauce experience. I don't know why I attract these people. But then when I start talking to them, I'm so friendly that I can't get rid of them. And Matt says he has one of them faces where it's like, don't talk to me face. He just puts his don't talk to me face on. So I tried this. It doesn't work. So. Friendly face. I mean, it's not bad being classed as a nice person, I guess. I've got another thing I want to tell you. Now I'm just crawling around the floor on my hands and knees. Um, I've just finished a book. Now this is nearly unheard of because I've not read for years. And then I read, some of you may know um, Zoe Suggs um, Magpie Society book. I read that and then for Christmas I told Matt that I want a book to read because I'm into it now. And it's like a nice escape, you know, just forget for half an hour or 45 minutes or however long you read. I seem to be into murders and stuff, so, I mean, aren't we all? But I'm into reading murder stuff and, like, detective stuff. So, um, Matt got me this for Christmas. I said to him, I would like a book. You know I enjoyed that Magpie Society and I told him what it was about. And then he bought me this one for Christmas, A Good Girl's Guide to Murder by Holly Jackson, number one New York Times bestseller and I finished this the other day and I I absolutely loved it. It's basically, in a nutshell, it's about a schoolgirl who for a project reinvestigates a murder that happened five years ago and it was never really solved and the police just didn't do a very good job basically and she didn't believe what they were saying happened Anyway, for a project, she re-looked at the case and they actually solved the murder. So it was really good. So if you're into stuff like that, try this out. And there's a second book. And I've also found out that there's a third book coming this year. So this is the second one, A Good Girl, Bad Blood. A Good Girl? Good Girl, Bad Blood. So this is the second book. And I've not even started this one yet. I might start this tonight. So, yeah. Right little bookworm now. <coughs> Why have I started to choke? I think it's the candle mixed with book breath. Should we change location? Because this is weird. Oh, this is casual. This is nice. Oh, I like this. It's just like I'm sat here chatting with a friend. Remember them friends that used to come round to your house and tell you about the life? I don't remember either. <coughs> I'm going to have to blow the candle out. It's choking me. It's Valentine's Day tomorrow and I won't see Matt tomorrow, but he did get me these flowers, which I shall show you. He got me these roses and tulips, are they? And it's so pretty. I've got a parcel to show you. And this series should be called Shit Amy Bought This Week. I feel like I've swore a lot in this video. Sorry about that. So yes, um, it actually wasn't this week. It was two weeks ago. But when Royal Mail tried to deliver me parcel, they took it back to the place. 
so I had to re-deliver it for a day I was in and that was today. Everything five pounds. Like I say, I ordered this ages ago. I feel like everything five pounds is one of them websites that you are told by a YouTuber on YouTube, where else? Like, oh, this is great. This is from Zara. This is from Topshop. This is from Primark. And I'll find stuff that I've never heard of. So I've probably never heard of any of these brands. I don't think I ordered a lot because this package is quite small. Oh, wow. What is this? Oh, yeah, remember that as well. I thought it was a magazine. <laughs> anyway, this is so cute. This looks so much better value than I thought it was going to be. Value? Quality. Because obviously everything is £5. This is a woolly hat. And it's cream, navy and pink. I, ooh, look at that. It's got a fuzzy inside. That is, isn't even the pom-pom nice. Oh, that is nice. It doesn't have any branding in it whatsoever but how nice is that for the winter walks that quality feels amazing and that pom-pom is really good and it's thick and the inside is so warm oh, hang on it has got a label nope it just says it was made in prc where's prc Ooh. <gasps> Oh yes, this is coming in its own parcel. I remember this. This is a um, um, necklace. Oh my god! Wow, this is a bit. <laughs> okay, this is a bit tacky. <laughs> it's got bloody diamonds on. Oh, that is awful i am so sorry but this is it's plastic it's not even metal <laughs> you know what though no this is not worth five pound was this really five pound <laughs> i mean listen to it that's how plastic it is i thought it was going to be metal it's a chain ow if it was um if it was metal it would be so much better but listen to it it sounds like one of them um plastic snakes that you used to get when you were a kid you know what i mean and they used to like wiggle by themselves it sounds like one of them and then it's got these like they actually look quite nice up close not my style but it's got like fake crystals on it. My mum would probably like this. Oh, that's the front of it, I was holding it the wrong way. Whoa, I've got some, oh god these are naffer than they looked. I'm so sorry. People will upload a everything five pound haul and are like bragging about it. This is the reality. Now this was not, I don't think this pink oh, actually it looks all right it's very pink it's a knickers and bra set actually the bra is quite nice oh no this is all right this comes with these little like brazilian knickers they don't look too bad and then it's a little slightly oh no it's not too bad it's padded and then it has this lace detail here and i got it in a b cup but I usually buy 34C. But that doesn't look that big. You know what? For a fiver, that's not that bad. I'm just literally... Oh, God, there's the neighbour. Oh, my God, she just see me. I t spoke to her about the ice the other day. I think she's just seen me holding up my knickers and bra in the front window. I think I'm going to get reported. Oh, God, I've just made eye contact. I'm literally going to get reported. Let's pretend the telly's on. <laughs> I've just been holding up my knickers and bra in the front window. 
Okay, she's drove off. I've just been holding up my Nixon bra in the front window. I'm going to do it again, aren't I? <laughs> oh my god. Hopefully she wasn't looking. But yeah, for fiver, these are really good. Mm, told you they think I'm weird around here. This. This is an interesting pattern. I don't remember it having shiny bits on, but it's got metallic bits on. Oh, you know what? That's not that bad. I don't. <laughs> it's not that bad, right? It's a little summer dress. Now, I hope you can see. Can you see at the bottom? It's got like a little frill. That's cute and it's got little frills on the arms. If I don't wear this, Matt's sister will probably wear this. And it's got like a frill there. And then on the back, it's got this little like tie that goes across the back of your neck. You know what? That isn't bad for a fiver. That isn't bad at all. Look, see, it's got shiny bits on. This could be cute. What's the brand? Indie and Moi. Moi? Moi? I don't know. Again, oh, look at their branding. How cute is that? Can you see it? That's cute branding. You know what? It feels good quality. I imagine, you know what? Even on an evening on holiday. <laughs> Remember them. An evening on holiday. I was going to say with a tan. I don't tan. I'm so pale. But that could be nice, you know, a flowy, you've put a bit more timber on because you're on holiday and it's an all-you-can-eat buffet situation morning and night. That would be really nice. The next thing is, these are cute. I don't know what the quality's going to be like. I don't know what size I've ordered. A 12 is an XL. Um, these are Halloween pyjamas. <laughs> oh, the quality content on this channel it's just amazing now these are a bit more summery but halloween isn't in summer so that doesn't make sense does it but they're like they cut off just below the knee the pants but they say boo boo i'm a ghost <laughs> aren't they cute for a fiver we can be spooky in summer right now i'm like a print expert because of my job Print's a bit naff. But the t-shirt itself feels alright. Don't have a clue what brand they are. But that's the top. It's alright. And then the bottoms are so cute. They've got the white and pink stripes. And then that waistband is not that big. There's little ghosts peeping out. <laughs> little ghosts peeping around. They do feel like pyjamas you'd have got off the market years ago. I'm not going to lie. But you know what? They smell like pyjamas off the market as well. But you know what? In the summer, they'll be alright then. And this is the last thing. Now online, before I open the box, online... That's the chair squeaking, I'm not trumping. Online, um, these said shimmery. And shimmery sounds a bit girly to me. And they're for a boy. And now the black ones look shimmery. But this colour that I've picked didn't look shimmery. So I'm hoping that they're not. It didn't say if they were for boys or girls. Oh, they have a zip on them. Oh my God got a few threads coming off but I'll trim them off these are the cutest things I've ever seen I'm impressed <laughs> they've got proper rubber sole how adorable are they they're in like a a khaki green I've got little zips on so you can get them on and off easy. <clears throat> With a little pair of jeans and a little jumper. They are so cute. They feel great quality. Like I have no idea where these are originally from. 
there's literally nothing on the little box so that's everything I got from everything five pounds the only really bad thing was that plastic necklace <laughs> I can't believe it was five pound for a plastic necklace hey good girl if anyone's got a cat you need to give them these sticks here you go then here you go then take it good girl these are her all time favourite treats in the entire world now she's just checking she's a little was that nice they are your favourite treats in the world aren't they Nice noise. Ooh. Ooh. You gorgeous. Oh yeah. Is that a happy noise? Ooh. So I've just had a look through my footage and I thought I've not filmed much today. I filmed over half an hour footage, so it's gonna be fun trying to edit that down. I've just done my tea. I'm having chips, chicken skewers and corn on the cob. I've been a busy bee. I am the busiest I've ever been, just saying. I've got something very creative coming along and it involves an Etsy page and it involves a heat gun. And I'm not gonna lie, I nearly burnt my hand off. So I've just ordered myself a um, heat proof glove because things are getting a bit hot so yes keep your eyes peeled for my little adventure which I'm really excited about and today was the first day I've tried this and they turned out really good so I'm excited here's my oh my god I nearly dropped you we're all good here is my tea chicken skewers chips corn on the cob and I'm super excited to eat that so I'm going to love you and leave you. I hope everybody is well. I should have said that at the beginning. I hope everyone's well. hope everyone's staying safe. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And subscribe to see more. Bye.